You're listening to Moving the Chains on Sirius XM NFL Radio, Channel 88. Now, back to the show. Here's Jim Miller and Pat Kerwin. Sirius XM has your chance to win a trip for two to the Notre Dame game versus Michigan game on September 6th at Notre Dame Stadium. One grand prize winner will receive a trip for two to South Bend, Indiana, including round-trip airfare, two nights hotel stay, passes to the Friday evening dinner in the Notre Dame press box, plus a pair of game tickets to Notre Dame versus Michigan, including pregame hospitality. For official rules and to enter, all you have to do is go to SiriusXM.com slash Notre Dame by August 29th by 10 a.m. Eastern. It's open only to those with SiriusXM since on or before July 21st, 2014. No purchase is necessary. We've got about uh, two minutes left to close out hour one, so let's try and sneak in. Brian from Florida wants to talk a little Logan Mankin straight. What's going on, B? Good much. How are you guys doing? Great. Doing fine, Brian. You like the trade? I thought it was an extra rule on Tampa Park considering our only really good guy. I thought with Carl Nix and Dietrich Smith was a good acquisition. But my main thing about this is, does that mean any other possibilities for a line improvement will happen on the box this offseason? Um, they, well, this is a statement by general manager Jason Light that, it, you know, they that's may like still add uh, Richie Incognito. Now, whether that's after week one, uh, that way the, the, the contract's not guaranteed. Uh, that po- could potentially still happen. So it's it's still potentially out there unless another team signs Richie Incognito. Right, I know it's that, but in terms of the team perspective, I don't want what happened in Miami happened to Incognito on, in Tampa. I just so you think about the staff to keep that in control? Well, you just wonder, it was supposedly a five hour meeting yesterday. It was uh, a kind of a meet and greet and I, I don't know, you know, who knows what happened behind closed doors, but I gotta believe it was broached, it was discussed, it was talked about. I'm sure Tampa Bay read the report that was out there uh, by the National Football League, but certainly wanted to get the skinny from Richie Incognito of what type of teammate he was going to be in locker room presence uh, Pat, if he were added uh, to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, uh, roster. And for, for the most part, I think coaches are pretty blunt. You know, they're going to get to the point um, with, with Richie and Cagnuda. I, I don't think it'd be any different with Lovey Smith and, and Jason Light, the general manager of Tampa Bay. I, I just your thoughts on when you bring in a player that has had a history and you really want to get to the bottom of the situation. Well, I think it also might be reflected in the contract. Hey, Richie, we want to sign you, but we got to protect ourselves. Who knows if you're going to launch another um, display of behavior that we don't want to tolerate. So how about something in your contract to incentivize you and take some risk off us. I mean, those things happen as well, and that tells you really how they Good job, eh? Hour two of Moving the Chains. Pat Kerwin, Jim Miller, stick with us.